delicious. <laughs> Don't see. <laughs> wow. It's quarter to seven in the morning, <laughs> and we're outside with smoothies. Now, what have you got? Show me. A kettle full of sand, that is. <laughs> it is such a gorgeous morning today. You can hear the birds. It's actually quite warm as well. It's absolutely lovely. It feels very springy. Hey, smoothie thief. That's mine. Yours is over there. What's mine is yours, Noah, as I've learnt as a mother. <laughs> yeah, whatever's mine is also yours. It is currently Monday morning. It's the most beautiful morning this morning. I don't know if you guys can hear the birds, but they are so loud. We've got our bedroom windows open and they're so loud. That is honestly one of my favorite sounds. I feel like it's the sound of spring. <laughs> I'm laughing as we're looking out of our bedroom window. Our house is surrounded by the most gorgeous, yellow flowers which actually happen to be rapeseed so for someone <laughs> that is prone to getting quite bad hay fever i am in for a treat <laughs> over the next few months honestly now i'm kind of noticing it a little bit more now we're kind of like spending more time outside the windows are open more um that i i am feeling like bunged up all the time and as you guys know all this time i was putting it down to having a cold I think it's hay fever because our house is surrounded by the number one thing that provokes hay fever. So we're gonna let's cut down the better. As you guys would have seen, we have already been outside for an hour or so this morning. Um, we find ourselves in the garden about 6, 6.30 a.m. each morning at the moment. As soon as Noah goes downstairs, the only thing he wants to do is go outside he just absolutely loves it so yeah we've had a lovely morning outside Noah has now gone off to have a fun day at nursery with his little friends so I thought we could spend the day together today got a really nice cozy day at home planned one of our favorite days I am going to be sharing the nursery reveal with you today which is finally finished and it it feels lovely that it's now finished like I feel more ready now. I am also going to be doing some organising today, some nesting for baby. In my nesting era, like I'm just loving organising every inch of this house. I've got some work to do this afternoon and we've also got a meeting. Um, and then this evening we're going to be cooking a really yummy recipe for dinner which I've been craving for the past few weeks so yeah it's going to be a lovely day and I'm very much looking forward to spending the day with you guys. Also I just want to say guys thank you so much for all of your really kind sweet lovely comments on my last video. Honestly why is my nose tingling like I'm gonna cry? Could could be the hormones could be the the rapeseed all made me feel just so so much better about the whole situation i felt reassured i felt like my feelings were validated i just felt so much relief from sharing that with you all and hearing like all of your thoughts about the whole situation and i actually when i was reading through all of your lovely comments i actually like felt a little bit silly for letting two or three people make me feel the way I did and make me question myself as a mum and like the, de the decisions that I make for my own child like that really did it was kind of like the reality check that I needed um and yeah I, I just can't thank you guys enough I am incredibly lucky to have friends like you in my life um <laughs> you guys hear Teddy 
All I can hear is row, 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 row. Yeah, I just really wanted to say thank you so much. I'm so grateful for our friendship. I'm so lucky to have all of you in my life and to be able to share so much of my life with you. Like, it's so amazing and I actually don't really know what I'd do without you. So you really did, like, lift my spirits this week. Reading all of your lovely comments really just put a lot into perspective and um, made me kind of see how silly I was being, I guess. Like, letting a couple of negative people affect me. So yeah, thank you guys. Okay, my loves, before I take you into the nursery and do the grand nursery reveal, I have to share with you our new mattress from Emma Sleep, who are very kindly sponsoring this part of today's video. I have been sleeping absolutely terribly for this entire pregnancy. <laughs> I have probably seen every hour of every night. I've just been so uncomfortable, tossing and turning, and I've been thinking for a while now, it's about time we treated ourselves to a new mattress. So we started shopping around, and then Emma Sleep actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try one of their new mattresses. And oh my goodness, guys, we've had this for about three weeks. I've slept like a baby. The mattress was the problem. All this time I've been blaming my pregnant body and it was our old mattress. Mattress is like sleeping on a cloud. Like this is what I would imagine floating in the sky sleeping on a cloud to be like. It's so comfortable. Something else I really love about this mattress as well is if one of us move, the other one doesn't feel it, which is amazing because I've just been so fidgety with like obviously trying to get comfy with my bump. I think it makes a huge difference when you share a bed with someone, like to not feel them kind of like rolling around and disturbing your sleep. One of my favourite things about the Emma mattress, they are actually delivered in a box. Like look at the size of this box, it's so convenient and easy to get up the stairs which is amazing. Then you simply unbox your mattress and unroll it onto your bed. You take off the packaging and it like starts to inflate. It's amazing. Then you simply leave it for five hours to settle and then you can have the best night's sleep of your entire life. Really great things about Emma Sleep are you get a 10 year guarantee, also a 200 night risk free trial. Until the 1st of May, Emma are actually having an up to 40% off spring sale. And I have a discount code which is Gemma Louise and that will get you an additional 5% off the discounts that are already online so i will leave a direct link down below along with my discount code but yeah like i said guys could not recommend emma mattresses enough they are amazing the one that we have currently on our bed is the next gen premium mattress just in case you guys wanted to get the same one as me and it's amazing it's got like memory foam on the top which molds to your body so it's actually emma sleeps most sustainable mattress yet which is of course amazing so yeah yeah, I will leave a direct link down below for Emma Mattress, but could not recommend enough. Honestly, I've had the best night's sleeps of my life, which I never thought I'd say whilst pregnant on this mattress. Okay, my loves, welcome to baby boy's little nursery. Little bump update, we're currently looking like this, feeling very round. <laughs> um, I turned 34 weeks today, actually. Um, so that's exciting, six weeks to go, although I'm convinced he's gonna come early. I feel like I am, um, I, I just have a feeling that he's gonna come at like 38 weeks. So we could potentially be meeting him in four weeks. Oh my God, it all just feels so real and so close now. Um, so I'm just like so happy to have the nursery done at least, have all of his bits ready and organized. Oh, he's kicking. Do you know what? He moves all day, every day. Like he is a very, very active baby, much more active than Noah. Um, and I feel like he's much stronger in my belly than Noah. Like when he kicks, I, it actually shocks me and I'm like, ow! <laughs> um, but yeah, let me 
show you around oh my goodness how exciting okay as you go in the nursery this is what it looks like if you guys are wondering which room this is this is my old office um so we obviously have the bathroom noah's room our bedroom dressing room behind me and then baby's room is here I actually consider switching baby's room and noah's nursery um obviously because this is a lot closer to our bedroom but i really didn't want to disrupt noah like that's his room um so i really wanted to avoid doing that this is baby's nursery i am so happy with it guys <gasps> let me know what you think see we went for very neutral vibes again um kind of like we did with noah's nursery and honestly i just find neutral muted colors just so calming and obviously this being my second baby i kind of want to stick to the things that worked with Noah, even though so second baby can be completely different to your first and he's probably going to be the complete opposite to Noah. But we found with Noah's nursery, not having too much going on in there and really keeping it quite minimal um, and neutral and nothing too crazy going on in there. It was just a really lovely calming space for him and I do think if there was lots of bright colors or lots of like fun wallpaper and toys he would never go to sleep in there especially when we've been sleep training i think having just like a really calm space has been really quite key um so i wanted to do the same kind of thing for baby when baby boy reaches an age where he has like favorite things redecorate this room to be whatever he wants it to be um we're thinking of potentially redecorating noah's room probably a little bit later on this year um when he gets a big toddler bed oh my god i'm not ready for that i'm not ready and he can choose what he wants honestly if we were to decorate it now he would have a cow themed room he loves cows okay first things first let's talk paint colors i think i've found the perfect neutral shade like honestly this is my absolute favorite it's like a really it's like a greyy kind of colour, but it also has like a, I don't know, like a maybe like a tiny hint of like green. It looks a little bit sagey, um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the colour that we have in the living room. And this is Shaded White by Farrow and Ball. And then Jamie did the panelling. And this colour is Wimborne White by Farrow and Ball, which we have in our kitchen, which is a really gorgeous, like fresh, creamy colour. Um, and I just, I really love the layout of this room. I feel like it flows really nicely. Like, as you walk in, you've got the little rocking chair, the cot, and then round this corner, we've got the little changing area. I just think it all fits really nicely. So, I do have a blackout blind, um, which I've ordered, which I think is coming next week. So, that'll be really handy. Number one top tip, get a blackout blind. It saved our sleep with Noah. Um, so, I would highly recommend one of those. Then, we have this gorgeous boucle rocking chair from mamas and papas which is just so lovely and soft and cozy so we've got a little like reading corner feeding corner we have used noah's rocking chair so much so i definitely wanted to get one for baby's nursery this slim little olive tree i'm loving an olive tree at the moment we've nearly got one in every room um this was from amazon got a couple little bits on the shelves oh God, look at those boots oh you forget how tiny newborns are don't you so cute this is actually a little night light that i got from zara home which is really sweet these little books which are so cute our little adventures these were from amazon you guys know all of my baby furniture is from mamas and papas and this is like a gorgeous kind of like washed wood um it's really lovely and light which i love got this little green throw this side love the bedding as well how pretty is that i picked up this monitor from amazon it actually looks so cute it's like a little bird um but it's meant to be really really good so we're gonna pop that up soon and it's great because it's like bird's eye view so we'll put that up soon i'll let you guys know what i think of this and then we've got this super cute little mobile. Noah likes coming in here in the mornings and kissing all the animals. It's so cute. The other day he kissed like the end of the elephant's trunk. So you must think the lips are here, which was 
just the cutest thing ever. Me and Jamie talk about it all the time because it was just the best. Oh, so cute. <sighs> Even that sound is just so nostalgic. This little cot organizer, I love these. I just think they make it feel so cozy. And oh my goodness, I got two of these. These go on the end of a um, dummy. They're like a little comforter. How cute. And then over this side we have got our changing dresser again from mamas and papas i love the green detailing on this i just think it's so pretty and also with these drawers you can actually switch where the green drawer is so you can actually have it on any drawer they like come off or you can have it all this color so it's nice to kind of have a two-in-one changing unit and this bit on top actually comes off as well so when obviously baby is out of nappies, you don't need a changing station. Um, this can just be a chest of drawers. This laundry basket from Matalan. I don't think I've ever been as excited about a laundry basket <laughs> as I am with this one because it just fits the space perfectly. I love that it's like slim. I think it's a really handy size. Um, we could even have it down this side to be fair. Got this little changing basket We had one of these with Noah and he loved to just chill in here. Honestly, it was his favorite place to lay I've got a little cushion in here um, But I'm excited to see if like Baby number two, I keep nearly saying his name If baby number two likes the same things as Noah or he's gonna be complete opposite. Then we've got this gorgeous round mirror these little shelves, which were from Amazon. Oh my goodness, look at these boots. Oh, little cat boots. These are from Cozy Crew Club, which is one of my favorite little baby shops. They do so many cute bits. It's got a little book on there, a little teether, comforter, oh, really tiny little boots, hairbrush, some dummies. Again, Noah loved these bibs dummies. Um, so we will see <laughs> this little hot air balloon is so cute this is from zara home and then then oh this makes me feel like i'm gonna cry oh and the music it's all too much guys i'm feeling emotional this little hand knitted cardigan and romper actually has baby's name on the back which is so exciting um obviously we're gonna wait until baby's here to like reveal his name just because we need to make sure he looks like the name that we've chosen um but yeah guys that is the nursery let me know what you think i am like i said just so happy with it it's exactly what we wanted and yeah i can't believe in a few weeks there's gonna be a tiny little baby in here okay it's time for some nursery organization i have been itching to do this i'm so excited i actually bought this um label machine from amazon how do we're going home with this organization okay i'm taking my nesting very seriously this time around and i bought myself a label maker but it's so good and so easy to use so it's from amazon i think it was like maybe 11.99 or something um and it's all done on bluetooth and you don't need ink either it's done through heat jamie did explain it to me but it went over my head <laughs> um so you literally download the app there's loads of different templates and stuff you can choose from but say you wanted a label that said nappies like i do you literally write in nappies and you press print like how cool is that so good so easy and then literally snip it off and you can stick it wherever you want um so i'm currently just like going around our home and just labeling everything <laughs> who am i honestly who am i it must be the pregnancy hormones because as you guys know i've wanted to be this person all my life where i'm like really organized and i actually enjoy like organizing and decluttering and over the past like month i really have been and i don't want to lose that part of myself so i'm hoping that this is just new me this is new mum of two Gemma, who has a label machine and likes organizing we can hope anyway i'm gonna do the dresser 
um very excited we have all of this to organize today got all of these bits to put away i've got that box to sort out um i folded all of the bits that i think are gonna go in the dresser we've got lots of drawer organizers these big white ones are from ikea well they're from ikea but i got them off amazon and then also these smaller ones are from amazon and yeah i'm excited to get organizing I've already labelled all the drawers so I can kind of like plan where everything's going to go. Um, I wanted to work out like what the best drawers were for everything so everything's labelled. A label for nappies just in case I forget what a nappy looks like one day. <laughs> oh it's so satisfying! I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Okay, the top two drawers are finished. Oh, how satisfying does that look? Oh, I wonder how long it'll stay like this. I'm gonna give it a week we will come and have a look at these drawers again when baby's here and see if they are looking the same because I highly doubt they will be. Baby will probably get through all of these in about two days. Newborns have so many nappy changes, don't they? And then here's what the other drawer looks like. We've got the muslin cloths, teethers and comforters. Oh, this is so cute. And then just some nappy bags and some some of this magic balm we have used this with Noah and it's really really good so I've got some of that probably get some other little toiletry bits in there I haven't bought too many toiletry bits um as I remember with Noah we didn't really use many things when they're so little so yeah that's the top two drawers organized very satisfying you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're me okay, second drawer we have sleep suits, body suits and vests, hats and socks. Oh, I just can't get over how tiny everything is. Also, I learnt a sleep suit folding hack, <laughs> which I'm going to share with you. Okay, for anyone that cares, which I feel like is not going to be very many of you, <laughs> but if you want to know how to fold your baby grow up into a little parcel like this, then keep watching. If you don't, then just skip a couple of minutes. I really won't be offended. Okay, so we turn it over. You fold in the arms and legs. So it looks like this. And you fold it in half. Turn it over. And then you take this side and you simply tuck it into this little gap here. Tuck it in, nice and tight. That, give it a little roll, and ta-da! Isn't that cool? I don't know if cool is the right word for a sleep suit folding, but I think it's pretty cool, honestly. This is as exciting as my life gets at the moment, guys. I feel <laughs> so free, oh my sweet baby. Okay, and then the last drawer we have blankets, pram suits. These are two of Noah's old ones. So cute. I can't wait to see them in Noah's old clothes. And then we also have sleep suits. I bought a couple of these. Love to dream. Swaddles. Noah was never actually swaddled because he loved having his arms like out. Um, so he just had sleeping bags. So I've got a sleeping bag just in case. But I would like to try these. And then this one here is just kind of like random bits. We've got a little organiser in there. A little thermometer. Charger for his Mooney Bear. The good old snot sucker. <laughs> and a little baby nail trimmer. These are really good for when baby's nails are just like really, really, really delicate. So yeah, that is the drawers done. What cute are these hospital bags I got for baby? Oh my goodness. I got three different ones. A big one. A slightly smaller one and also a little toiletry bag which I'm going to use as like a little nappy bag I think or maybe bits for babies feeding stuff I'm not entirely sure yet um but I got these from Amazon gorgeous quality I just think they're so cute with the little bears I'm obsessed with anything bear with bears on you know what I've actually bought so much less 
stuff this time around with baby number two um especially clothes wise like clothes all we really have is like a couple of cute outfits of course because you just can't not um but i've just mainly got white zip sleep suits honestly i've got loads and loads and loads of them um let me show you which ones these from asda and usually zip sleep suits are really expensive i think i got a pack of five and i think they were maybe like i want to say seven ish pounds um which i actually thought was really good so i just got loads of them i literally got like five packs of them i think because i can remember noah getting through little sleep suits so quickly um obviously we were in hospital for eight nights with noah um, so we got through so many sleep suits, so I thought, you just can't have enough of them. So I just got loads of these. Yeah, all of them have got zips because ain't nobody got time for poppers. Especially at two, three, four, five in the morning. No one's got time for a popper, okay? So I've treated myself to zip ones <laughs> to make my life that little bit more easier this time around. Um, so yeah, like I just feel like I've bought a lot less stuff. I kind of feel like I kind of know what I'm doing this time around um even though baby's probably gonna get here and I'm gonna be like ah what do I do um but yeah I think second pregnancy is so different like such a different feeling because you just you feel so much more confident anxiety of having a newborn not really knowing what to do isn't there this time which is actually like such a nice feeling um so yeah I've bought a lot less clothes you see we've got Noah's old pram We've got loads of Noah's old toys. We've got loads of Noah's old clothes, which I've saved. I've saved some of the ones that I really loved. Um, we've got a little bouncer. I into mummers and puppers at the weekend. Um, and this pram suit that I've had my eye on for ages was half price. How amazing. Oh, it's just so cute. It's literally 50% off. Then I also just picked up this I haven't bought any cute clothes she says with cute clothes in her hands i got this little green striped romper i remember noah having one like this and he wore it so much it's just like really lovely and cozy i think this is a three to six month yeah it is. so this will be for like kind of like october november time um and then this is his little going home outfit guys the going home outfits ever stay a going home outfit i remember last time i packed this really cute going home outfit and after being in hospital for eight nights i was like yeah let's just put him in anything and get him home um but i got this because i just thought it was so cute a little pregnancy update actually i feel like we've not really i don't know i feel like i've not really spoken about pregnancy you guys are probably thinking Gemma, you have all you talk about um i feel like i've not spoken about it this time around but i feel like it's because i don't know i've kind of like i know what to expect a bit more so there's kind of less to update you guys on because obviously this is the second baby so um i had my midwife appointment on friday and i've got something called low pepe i think that's the right terminology it's called low pepe and it basically means that baby is measuring a little bit on the smaller side um and i need to have growth scans every two weeks um just to kind of like keep check on baby's growth um so basically that means that the birth options are a little bit different this time around um and also because my pregnancy well my birth is classed as a high risk birth because obviously I had a really bad fourth degree tear last time um, which hasn't affected me since like it's been absolutely fine but I think they're a little bit worried if it was to tear again that obviously I might not be as lucky as I was with Noah and I might have some complications um, so basically a water birth is kind of off the cards um, which is what I had last time, well kind of, I was in the water up until like Noah came out and then I was on the beanbags. I don't really know what my birth plan is. There's actually part of me that's like, is there any point having a birth plan? Does it ever go to plan? Like I just don't know. I'm just like, just go with the flow Gemma. But then I thought that last time and I wished that I had prepared more. 
<laughs> I wish I'd prepared more so yeah it's just something to think about over the next couple weeks um but anyway plans for now are I'm gonna get baby's hospital bags packed um may seem a little bit early but my midwife did tell me to pack my hospital bags so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do babies today because I'm simply because I've got everything and like I know where everything is everything is literally ready just to be put in these bags so I think when I've done that I'll feel just a little bit more ready like they're ready to just grab my hospital bags I think we will do next week so I need to like pop to the supermarket and get like some nappies some adult nappies for me um like bits and bobs like that to be able to pack so we'll probably do that next week we can do that together if you guys would like to see what's in my hospital bag round two because I do feel like again having been through it before I will pack slightly differently so if you'd like to see that please just let me know um if you don't want to see that then obviously I do not mind will not be offended just let me know I'll probably film a little reel on that if you guys follow me on Instagram you will know God, I feel like I'm talking at a million miles per hour slow down Lemma. we're not in a rush <sighs> I've forgotten what I'm saying now honestly what's going on what was I saying um oh that was it um I'm doing a nesting reel series over on my Instagram which you guys are absolutely loving which makes me so happy because they have actually been my favorite videos to film like I just find them so satisfying and I have adored watching others pregnant mamas nest with me videos like they just oh, I love the feeling of them I feel like they feel so like just so special um so yeah really glad you guys are enjoying those I've got a couple more of those planned gonna do packing my hospital bag um setting up the bedside crib and obviously like the nappy caddy and all the bits that we're gonna keep in the bedroom um and yeah exciting exciting time so let's pack baby's hospital bags together Okay, this is everything I'm popping in the main bag for baby. So we've got three sleep suits. These ones have got matching hats, so cute. Then I'm taking two body suits and a vest. Three muslin cloths. This is baby's going home outfit, so cute. And then what else have we got? A blanket because Noah liked to be wrapped, like swaddled in a blanket. Um, instead of an actual swaddle so we'll take a blanket just in case and then I've got one of the love to dream swaddles and um, we've got two dummies in here in this little dummy case and then a little comforter and then I'll also take his Mooney bear as well this was a godsend when we had Noah um, because it has white noise like a little white noise machine in there so he really loved that when he was like a day old a couple of days old it's just a really nice little comfort for them especially when they're so young so we'll take that as well okay baby's bags are all packed so I showed you guys what was in the main one and then this one we've kind of just got as like a little nappy bag. So we've got nappies in there, wipes, um, the magic balm and some nappy bags. And then in this little one we've just got some mam bottles which Noah loved these so I just figured I'd get the same ones. And also just some instant formula just in case. I am hoping to breastfeed but last time it just didn't work out. Hospital gave me the little ready-made cow and gates formula bottles which were just so easy so I've just got a couple of these um, just in case so that can be baby's little feeding bag and yeah that is the bags packed how exciting my least favorite job I hate 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 
touching raw chicken. I'm like, the best part is I have to really dissect it before I cook any of it. Sorry if you really don't like raw chicken like me and I'm just talking about it in great detail. It has been a while since we last spoke. It's ended up actually being a really busy afternoon for me. I have been working away on my laptop, got lots of things edited that I needed to get edited, lots of other bits that I wanted to get done have also got done, so we've had a really productive day. Um, and then Jamie and I actually had a Earl of Muse meeting, which was really exciting, so I'm feeling just really happy about that. And then we went and picked Noah up, we came home, he had a little bath, had a little play and we have just got him down for his sleep. Noah actually had his dinner at nursery today, so I am just in the middle of prepping dinner for me and Jamie tonight. One of my favorite things in the whole wide world is a Chinese takeaway. I absolutely love Chinese takeaway, but the problem I'm facing at the moment is any kind of quite greasy food gives me the worst heartburn at the moment um, and it's the only food that really seems to do it so I'm really trying to steer clear of any takeaways. Then one certain dish that I have just oh, dreamt about and that is salt and pepper chicken. It's all I can think about, it's all I want to eat. I know that I can't have it so I want it even more. So tonight for our dinner I'm making a homemade salt and pepper chicken so it's going to be like a little bit of a, a fake away. The recipe actually looks really, really easy, so I thought, let's give it a go. Hopefully it's nicer than Chinese takeaway, so I can just live on this now for the rest of my pregnancy. I've just diced up my chicken like this in quite big chunks, I'll probably say about this big. Um, and then I've also just whisked up one large egg, and I'm going to add some corn flour to a bowl. And to the corn flour, I'm going to add some salt, some pepper, Lots of pepper. There's another, I love a lot of pepper. Also, some Chinese five spice. This is what's going to make it. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in there, mix it all up, and also chuck it all over myself and the floor, apparently. And I'm going to add the whisked egg with the chicken and just make sure that it's all coated. And I'm going to roll my sleeves up because the last thing I want is egg flour or chicken on my sleeves and I'm going to take a piece of chicken one at a time and just pop it in my corn flour, completely coat it and just kind of like shake off the excess and then pop it in a bowl and then once I've done all the chicken I'm actually going to fry it, like shallow fry it in some vegetable oil, veg bleh, <laughs> vegetable oil. I'm pretty sure you could do this in the air fryer. I feel like it's gonna be tastier in the pan, mainly because it's in oil. And I feel like it's gonna taste more like a Chinese takeaway. Um, but you could definitely do this in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna coat all my chicken and then I'm gonna fry it in the pan. gives me the worst sensory overload like I feel like my brain is going to explode. The chicken is looking nice and crispy it smells amazing I've just drained out most of the oil and I'm going to add some chopped white onion and also some red pepper and also some spring onion all the onion I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning, so a little bit more of the Chinese five spice. All over. Tiny little sprinkle of crushed chilies. And some more black pepper. Okay, my loves, here is what the salt and pepper chicken looks like. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. Let's do little taste test. I also just popped on top some fresh chilies and some more spring onion. Let's try and get a little bit of everything. Cheers my loves. Mm. 
Oh my goodness. That is one of the nicest things I think I've ever made, if I do say so myself. That is absolutely blooming gorgeous. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not the same as salt and pepper chicken from the Chinese takeaway, but it's gorgeous. It tastes a lot fresher. Um, I feel like it's definitely a great fake away. Chinese takeaway salt and pepper chicken dupe. I feel like, I feel like it's a good one. Anyway, my loves, we are going to sit down, have our dinner, um, and then probably head up to bed. So I'm going to conclude today's vlog here. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. It's been a lovely day, very productive lovely day and i will catch up with you all in next week's vlog bye bye i'm off to enjoy my salt and pepper chicken i feel i don't get heartburn today let's hope bye my love